controversial case of racial profiling in New York, and this involves one of uh, the biggest signature retailers in the city, Barney's New York. So this boutique is accused of profiling some of its black customers, allegedly uh, sicking police on them because they suspected they bought merchandise with fake credit cards. So showbiz tonight anchor aj hammer joins me here first um as does cnn political commentator mark lamont hill but aj to you first um what's going on here yeah well barney's of course brooke is a staple for the rich and famous but now they're facing a lawsuit from a 19 year old named Trayon christian who says that he was racially profiled and detained by police after buying a belt at the store now Trayon says that he was actually handcuffed and taken into police custody while the police verified that his card was legitimate and at a separate press conference that just wrapped up in new york city another customer says she was discriminated against after she purchased a twenty five hundred dollar purse now she says she was also accused of credit card fraud, although she was never taken into police custody. And Barney's has released a statement. They're saying they've reviewed the first incident. They also added this. It is clear that no employee of Barney's New York was involved in the pursuit of any action with the individual other than the sale. And they also say they have no tolerance for any form of discrimination. They have a history of supporting human rights. But there's pressure now that's starting to build against the store. It certainly is and has been for years a favorite of celebrities. In fact, one of our affiliates actually just caught my model Tyson Beckford as he was walking out of Barney's New York and they asked him about the story. I want to play for you what he said. Okay. Uh, it's, it is sad though. The truth of it is sad because I mean you might have a black president but you're still going to get followed by security. You know it happens at Macy's. Just you know don't, you can't single out Barney's. Well, even Walmart it'll happen to you. It just it's just I don't know when they're looking at us the other guys getting away doing the bad stuff you know and it's sad. It really is. So sad to know that this may still go on, Brooke. And obviously, as the story gets more traction, especially being a favorite shopping spot of celebrities, uh, you can certainly expect more people to be speaking out. So then, AJ, and Mark, let me bring you in for this. The story pivots to Jay-Z. He's got this big line coming out, critics coming forward. I just want to read one tweet. Jay-Z is about to launch a clothing and jewelry line at Barney's. Will Blue Ivy be racially profiled when she purchases her first designer bag? Yeah. Mark, do you think Jay-Z should yank the line? I'm not sure he should yank the line just yet. I think what he should do, though, is absolutely leverage his star power and his influence to make Barney's be responsible on this. Now, of course, uh, he, he has the, op the, the option of doing nothing, and many celebrities do nothing in the face of social injustice. Jay-Z's been a very silent but strong contributor to social justice movements for a long time. Sometimes he gets criticized, criticized like people like Harry Belafonte have said he hasn't done enough. That's a different argument. Right now, he has the opportunity to do something positive. I don't think he should pull the line. I, I think he should say, I will pull the line if there's not a public apology, a public investigation, training for the staff, and also an acknowledgement that racial profiling is not okay.